Hey there guys, so it's just been a couple days after the Dundee United vs Rangers game and I've seen a lot of news articles, press just in general, question Rangers after their last couple performances. They've lost their last two games and that started last week in the Champions League qualifiers away at Malmo. It was a poor performance by Rangers in that game. They only had one shot on target and if it wasn't for Stephen Davis's late goal they would have been 2-0 down going into that second leg at Ibrox. Now, I know that a team is not going to win every single game that they play, but if I was a Rangers fan, I'd be expecting a response after that performance in Malmo, but it just didn't happen and Dundee United fully deserved to win that game. Even though the goal they conceded was a bit lucky by Dundee United, they f you earn your luck and Dundee United deserved the win. They defended well, they frustrated Rangers, and when they did have the ball and set pieces, they cost Rangers problems and they fully deserve the win. Due to Dundee United's great defending just as a team in general, they really frustrated Rangers and even though Rangers had 14 shots, they only had 2 on target in the whole game and that's due to Dundee United's great defending. It was a poor performance again by Rangers but some of the players have not just been at their best and the high levels that they've set themselves from last season. Some of these Rangers players like Ryan Kent, Barisic and the majority of them are not at the same level they set themselves last year and that's kind of understandable considering it's the opening few games of the season. That's the key word though, it's been the opening games of the season, there's so much games of football still to be played and people on news articles making assumptions that this Rangers team have got problems, it's a pretty stupid thing to say. It's too early to make these assumptions, first of all because the majority of this team is the same team that won the championship last year unbeaten with 102 points, it's all the key players are there, it's just they've started a bit slow. There's levels to this Rangers team and I think they can kick up a level, I think it just takes them a few games to get going, so it's pretty stupid for someone to make and the news just to make an assumption that Rangers have got deep lying problems. It's the opening few games of the season. And what Steven Gerrard and this team has shown is that they fight back, they never give up. And I wouldn't be surprised on Tuesday they respond with a great performance against Malmo and go through in the Champions League qualifiers. Thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. Put in the comments what you think of this Rangers team. I'm going to be doing more daily Scottish football content. Like and subscribe if you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Thanks.